as of 3rd of July, just before our country's birthday. I started out as a pretty controlling little girl. I could see in the pictures that were taken of me on that day. I was about four or five-ish. And um, you can see the look on my face of stubborn, dig in my heels. And this kind of continued on as I, as I grew older. And I think this led me into wanting my own way all the way into adulthood. Drinking started late in high school, into college. Never did drugs, thank God. Promiscuity started about the same time, and boy, I was heavy into that. I can't even remember names. And I do get flashes of scenes that are totally embarrassing when they appear in my head. Like, who was that person? Who did those things? This led into adultery. After I did a lot of years of that, I decided I was tired of men. So I decided to try women. Mostly those were my long-term relationships. And the last one was my friendship <clears throat> with a really good friend who we both got out of the lifestyle at the same time. I got very involved in the Presbyterian Church. I was a deacon, I was in the choir, moderated the Friendship Circle, the women's ministry, but they came up, they became okay. The Presbyterian Church, their, their uh, book of order got changed to include gay marriage and um, gay pastoring, which just, that just didn't set with me, but it took me about a year to um, to decide that that wasn't going to work and I had to get out. And so I got out and I, I came to the church I'm in now and I walked in and one of the elders just, well, welcome, welcome. And I just knew this was home. This was where I needed to be. I still didn't stay as committed as I should and became again involved with that same adulterous relationship that I had like in the beginning, which was many years ago. But the Lord, and the Lord used this as a roadblock. Actually something that made me have to choose, literally have to choose between this man and Jesus. And it just flowed naturally that I chose Jesus. He gave me an ultimatum and said, if you don't move down here, I'm going to date other women. And I said, well, that says to me that I have to choose either you or Jesus. And I said, I have no trouble choosing Jesus. So that's what I did. I chose Jesus. And it all clicked into place right at that moment. It just clicked into place. And all these choices at the beginning led me where I am today, which is a new church, new friends, new ministries. There are so many details I could never list them all. Suffice it to say that my Lord and Savior, our Lord and Savior, saved my life, gave me grace and salvation, gave me eternal life, for which I am so grateful, and I love you, Lord.